بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد ای الاحباب while we sleep comfortably in our various dwellings our brothers and sisters in Damaj, Yemen are being attacked continually experiencing death and violence and the destruction of of the Ruathith who make it a part of their religious faith and creed to kill Ahlul Sunnah and persecute them. And this has been the case since the earliest days of Islam. And what verifies this for us, let's look at one of the narrations from the many of the early scholars of Islam from 105 Hijri after the Hijra to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Al-Imam Amr al-Sha'bi rahimahullah ta'ala said one of the salaf of this ummah I warn you against misguided desires and the most evil of them are the Rafida that is because from them there are Jews who immerse themselves into Islam to try to prepare it to enter their misguidance. Just like when Paul, the son of the king of the Jews, immersed himself into Christianity in order to enter their misguidance into it. Then a Sha'bi said, the Ruatha did not enter into Islam out of desire or from awe of Allah, but rather out of hatred for the people of Islam. This is the statement of one of our salaf of this ummah, one of the tabi'een. And this shows us, shows us ayal ahbab, that we have to at least raise our hands in dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stops the evil onslaught of the Ruafith of what they're doing to our brothers and sisters in Yemen and what they're doing to our brothers and sisters in Iraq and what they are doing to our brothers and sisters in Syria and their imams who make fatawa that it's permissible to uh, kill uh, and shed the blood of Ahlul Sunnah with no form of human dignity and respect. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims everywhere and protect us from every form of wickedness. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.